got one that can see. Hey, what's going on? I was watching a video earlier that Michelle put out. It's about the propaganda with 9-11. And there were just a few key words and then something the guy said. I'm going to let you hear it. And then it made me think of another video. But just listen for a second. Pacific, and we do have some breaking news out of New York City as uh, family members of those who lost their lives in the September 11th terrorist attacks are calling on President Biden and uh, former President Trump to address explosive revelations of new footage showing explosive revelations. And uh, ever since I woke up, started waking up around 2012, I've kind of been looking up ever since. We know that the apocalypse, the word apocalypse actually means revealing. And all of this knowledge, everything that's been hid has been being uncovered over the last 12, 13 years. And I really think that the way they use numbers, the elites and the rulers in this world, they love to use their codes and code everything in numbers. And it has to do with 923. And I'm going to show you some clips later of uh, where they've been showing 23 in movies forever and 923 and 924. And nobody could ever really figure out what it means. But listening to this tonight, I was thinking uh, I'll play it. But the guy talks about it's been 23 years since 9-11 and we're in 2024. But just listen to a, a few more minutes of this, and then I'm going to show you something else. A Saudi intelligence agent assisting two of the lead terrorist hijackers, and we do want to head over to that live press conference. The Compensation Act and the September 11th Day of Remembrance Act passed and signed into law. That means Pennsylvania, we're no longer... Well, anyway, I don't have it pulled up, but the guy talks about, he mentions that that Trump and Biden, neither one of them will listen to this, and it's been 23 years. So uh, it made me think of an older video I did back in 2020 when the whole pandemic rolled through and everybody was looking up uh, about all like the asteroids. We've always seen the asteroid propaganda, and uh, I believe the big event... If you read Revelation 12, the serpent is cast down to this earth and his tail drags a third of the stars. So we know that we've been lied to from NASA about what stars are, but we know the, the stars, the fallen stars, are, are angels. The devil and his angels are cast to the earth. But uh, I'm going to play this other video, and uh, like I said, I'm not predicting any dates. I'm just out here watching. You know, we're told to look up for our redemption draweth nigh and just kind of watching the signs and I guess kind of being a watchman and just sharing what I see. But you guys have to let me know what you think. And this fall with, you know, Trump coming back and the last Trump and all all that stuff and the storm is coming and the whole 923s and 924 with it being 2024, but, and also, I feel like the apocalypse is coming to a close. And I believe when the apocalypse comes to a close, that's when the big event, like it says when they say peace and safety, sudden destruction cometh upon them. So anyway, we'll just uh, check this out. And uh, like I said, I just have a feeling that we're coming close to the end of the 6,000 years and uh, it adds up to right at 2024. But uh, you guys check it out. Hope you all have a good one. Later. Hey, YouTube. What's going on today? I just want to share something with you real quick. Uh, I want to show you a video that Shane put out earlier today. And I just want to talk about a little bit about the so-called event that everybody's been predicting. You know, in the movies, it's been in your face. If you just pull up Asteroids 2020, right here, uh, 
Asteroid 2020 OY4 zooming close to Earth. Will a huge asteroid hit Earth in 2020? And here's one right here. Check this out. I wanted to share some things as I get updates, try to find out more information <clears throat> for you guys. And uh, also... First of all, this guy... You know, be careful for a lot of these so-called mainstream alternative Christians. I'm not saying Danoon doesn't give you some good information, but anybody that has all these in, you know, quote inside sources. I mean, come on, you got to be. You, he's an insider. If you're getting all these top secret inside sources and then you're putting it on YouTube. I mean, if they were legitimate insiders and he was putting it on YouTube, you know, somebody would be knocking on his door. He would he would be going to jail more than likely. But anyway, listen, here's what he's talking about right here, about September. Address the issue about Florida. Some people have, after I did the video, the night before last, I guess. <laughs> Excuse me. <clears throat> people were asking me, Steve, why would you leave Florida? What's the deal with Florida? Well, it's a number of issues. But before I get into that, let me first, while we have a live broadcast, because I'm going to lose my signal very soon, <clears throat> I wanted to share with you the name of the video, Prepare for Impact. I said to you back about four months ago, my Pentagon source... Basically, you guys can listen to that later, but... There's a lot of chatter about inside sources, about the event, and everybody knows about the September, you know, the 923 that's been in all the movies. That's another thing that I want to talk about too, but I'm telling you, the big event, in my humble opinion, from the scripture, is absolutely Revelation 12. Let me pull it up real quick. Let's let Max McLean read this real quick. This is basically what I want to talk about in the video. Revelation 12. And there appeared a great wonder in heaven, a woman clothed with the sun and the moon under her feet, and upon her head a crown of twelve stars. And she being with child cried, travailing in birth, and pained to be delivered. And there appeared another wonder in heaven, and behold, a great red dragon, having seven heads and ten horns, and seven crowns upon his heads. And his tail drew the third part of the stars of heaven, and did cast them to the earth. And the dragon stood before the woman which was ready to be delivered, for to devour her child as soon as it was born. And she brought forth a man-child, who was to rule all nations with a rod of... That's it right there, where the... Uh... A tenth, well not a tenth, hold on, let me explain this. And his tail drew the third part of the stars of heaven and did cast them to earth. You know, that's that's the big deception. That's why they don't want the flat earth getting out. That's why you always have the NASA lies with the asteroids. Because what event in the history of mankind would we would be bigger than a third of the stars in heaven? being cast down to this earth. That is the event. There's nothing bigger. I mean, that's going to come upon the whole world when the devil and his angels get cast to this earth. They're going to have to go into the fleshly kings and leaders and all these Satanists and stuff. But this is going to come upon the whole world. And this also reminds me of... Uh, this right here. Oh. You know, where Jesus is talking to the church of Philadelphia, because thou hast kept the word of my patience, I will also keep thee from the hour of temptation, which shall come upon all the world, to try them that dwell upon the earth. I mean, what else could be a temptation that comes upon the whole world to try them upon the earth, other than 
Satan and his angels being cast to this earth. That's the reason why we are caught up. God spares us from the hour of temptation because Jesus told Peter that upon this rock he's going to build his church and the gates of hell will not prevail against the church. Okay, if we are here when Satan and his angels are cast to this earth, you know, that, that would be a pretty big hour of temptation that comes upon the whole world. But I want to go back to the video that Shane shared. And I know a lot of you guys have probably seen this, but I just want to add a couple things. It's not a very long video. Here we go. It's a pretty good video, actually, real good. And there were voices and thunders and lightnings. And there was a great earthquake, such as was not since men were upon the earth, so mighty an earthquake and so great. And the great city was divided into three parts. And the cities of the nations fell. And great Babylon came in remembrance before God to give unto her the cup of the wine of the fierceness of his wrath. And every island fled. Great Babylon is in the movies where they're always showing New York being flooded with that tidal wave and all the asteroids hitting. That's also, I believe, is uh, the great that great city that the Bible's talking about here. Fled away, and the mountains were not found. And there fell upon men a great hail out of heaven, every stone about the weight of a talent. And men blasphemed that could be God asteroids because too. of the plague of the hail, for the plague thereof was exceeding great. Nine twenty three. It will happen again. It will happen again. It will happen again. Tick tock. Tick tock. Tick tock. Tick tock. Tick tock. September. Everybody on the planet would know that we are in serious trouble. Now, that was confirmed by another friend that was... See, this rabbi, I mean, he's not even a Jew according to the flesh. But he is, like I said, the insider and he still pushes NASA, the whole space lie. I mean, he's had access to the internet since 2015 when we all knew that there's no measurable curvature. You know, he, like I said, not saying that you can't get some good information from this guy, but I mean, he is an insider in my opinion, absolutely. With direct sources, with generals. And but he is telling us what's gonna happen, what they're planning to happen. In the Pentagon, and went even further as to say that the people would be able to see with their own naked eye this system coming in. In September, everybody on the planet would know that we're in big trouble. The apocalypse is not. No, really. The apocalypse is just around the corner. But in the beginning, we're getting some big rocks fly by, but eventually it's supposed to be like this debris of just little small rocks that are going to be entering into the atmosphere and just pummeling the Earth. Now, I'm told by a friend of mine that works uh, as a contractor with direct general ties in the Pentagon. I also have my own Pentagon source as well. And that of my... See what I'm saying? This guy has Pentagon sources. And he has sources in FEMA. I mean, how many of you guys watching this video have Pentagon sources? I mean, give me a break. FEMA engineer that FEMA this engineer. will continue all the way and through into next year and he said that will go on and at his point he said it can go on up to about five or even seven years it's the same thing that is spoken of by Parada the Chilean astronomer Herbuculus the planet comet would actually be coming through itself our magnetosphere will take a sudden jolt and will actually collapse. The poles will shift. 
This is when we will see upwards to 200 mile an hour and even higher winds for about the space of six hours. I believe when the Bible talks about the, the sky rolling up like a scroll, that's what they're talking about when they say the poles will shift. You know, we're not spinning and rotating on some axis, you know, flying through space at 666 miles an hour. Come on. Hours on the planet. It's coming, it's going to hit us, it's going to hit us hard. And it's going to be 200 mile hour winds. There's going to be massive tidal waves and earthquakes. I'm one of the only survivors of the apocalypse on June 27, 2020. Almost three months have passed since the catastrophe. And this is from my famous source, Miami, famous source. Orlando, Jacksonville, and even Savannah will be totally wiped out. Uh, the state of Washington completely destroyed. He has told me how that in Washington, D.C., all the assets are being moved out of D.C. because there will be no Washington, D.C. It means that they will die. All of them. The apocalypse in his world. It also happens in ours. Uh, I was also told that this was the reason why the coronavirus just happened to be at this time the way it is. In order to lock the people down, uh, I was told that there were decades uh, spent to try to, to know what would work that would keep people in place when the time comes. They actually audit uh, government transactions, so DHS, FEMA, these kind of things, and they look over these things and sign off on them. What has crossed their desk is essentially a cleanup, a ton of money, and this is for this year's budget, for cleanup for debris from a class two gas giant. Is it when the smaller rocks come in, it'll be like a firestorm that never seems to end. They're cleaning up destroyed cities. That That's what we're getting from it, and that is debris from space I mean, that, that's, you know, that's literally something from space affecting us here on the planet. Could this be the judgment that we see in the Bible when God says he would rain down uh, hailstones about the weight of 70 pounds? Maybe so. Apocalypse. Not the apocalypse. The apocalypse. The apocalypse. They have been predicting this for how many years? It's got to be over 20 years. It's got to be the Revelation 12 when the stars get cast to this earth. I don't see how other any other way they could have all these so-called asteroids coming down all over the world. The apocalypse, the apocalypse must take place. It's going to happen one of these days.
well that emoji but yeah the event that they've been predicting you know they love their 33 they worship the devil and his fallen angels I mean that's where you get all the planets Venus Mars Saturn I mean seriously just let's see asteroid movies hitting earth I mean, that's that's all they play. Movies. There's so many movies about stuff like this. I know you guys might have seen this one. This one's pretty crazy. Well, I'm not going to play it, but just... Something's coming down the pipe. You know, we're looking up every day. But I totally believe that that's the hour of temptation that comes upon the whole world. You know, the Bible says, When they shall say peace and safety, sudden destruction cometh upon them. So, anyway guys, I thought that was a really good video that uh, Shane put out. You guys have a blessed day. Take care.